Why do you need your eyeshadow to your primer to be waterproof? I don't know, but I like it. I like to fight a little dirty, baby. If I opened up and came, then would you hurt me, baby? Welcome back, beauties. D. Beasley here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back, sis. Because, honey, today we are going to do all one brand. I've never done this type of video before. I've always wanted to do this type of video. But, y'all, I got so much makeup. Like, there's no reason why I should be able to do this type of video. So, today we're doing one brand, NYX, NYX Cosmetics. This is the look, honey. We also use this new NYX Ultimate Utopia palette. Honey, get y'all one of these. This thing ain't cheap. It's like $30, $35, which I'm still surprised that it was, but I really, really enjoyed using this palette, trying out something new, different, you know, cause I'll grab the same palette, you know, that go to whatever, let me snatch that up and move on. I was really glad to use this palette. Also use some of my favorite products from NYX. I have the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I have the No Filter NYX Powder, Deep Golden. I fools with this brand, so, and also my lip pencil. Like, look at that. So, yeah, I wanted to do this video, do a little switch up. If you do like the video, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the sister out. So, again, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, beauty, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the look. Okay, I'm looking busted and disgusted right now, but we're going to just this all the way up, okay? So, um, I went ahead and I have some items pulled already from NYX. So I have all of these products here that I wanna try out. I got powders and stuff on this other side, but I pulled everything NYX that I could, not even find, but just like, I have plenty of NYX products, so it wasn't hard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Spray. And y'all know I haul this in my drugstore, new to me. And it is a primer, refresher, and a setting spray. So I wanted to use that because I really like that spray. I've been using it a lot since I got it. Next, we're gonna go in with the NYX Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Espresso. I always get the shade Espresso. Uh, I wanna say the shade Dark Brown maybe too light, but I always get this shade Espresso. And these are very inexpensive. I believe they retail for maybe $10. These are a great alternative to the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencils. They are an exact dupe to them, to be honest with you. They just need more shades. Cause I feel like, I feel like Espresso might be the darkest shade. So those are my brows. Like, it doesn't take much at all to hook these brows up. This pencil, like I said, I like it because of the spoolie on one end, but it's super thin. Look how thin it is. So it gets you, like, precise lines, and I just love these pencils. So this is one of my favorite NYX pencils. I don't even know if they have another brow pencil, do they? I don't even know because this is the only one I look for. So before we do the eyes, I want to go ahead and prime my face so I can have that sitting in. I have two primers. I have the Shine Killer and then I have Angel Veil. I have these two, which I used this before. This is more of a mattifying one. Both of them are supposed to be oil-free primers. Um, this one is just a Shine Killer and this one is a Skin Perfecting Primer. Feels lighter than a cloud and leaves skin looking and feeling divine. Okay. But that doesn't say anything about mattifying or anything. This is more, Angel Veil is more of like smoothing because it does feel all like baby powdery like. So we're going to use Shine Killer. And this looks like a silicone primer. I get like... I don't know if I, I'm not against silicone primers, but they feel like oil on my face when I use them. I could just be sliding around. 
Like I couldn't tell you if it's mattifying me or what. I use too much of that. Like it gives me, <laughs> it doesn't do, I guess it, I don't know. I guess because I've never really given it a chance to be honest with you. So I just, I don't like the feel of it. And I thought it was gonna be more because it says shine killer. I thought it was gonna be more of like a, you know, a pat, like a, like the velvet, like the angel veil almost. But the angel veil, let's use both of them. How about that? This one does have like, it says pow, it's like a powdery finish, but I have more faith in it that it's gonna be more mattifying than the shine control. So we're just gonna put that on our nose and our forehead because that's exactly where I will get oily. I'll get oily on my nose anyway, but it'll be nice to see how long that lasts. Even though I'm not doing this as a wear test, honey. We, you know, we are well into the night. Well, we're not. It gets dark so early, like. <sighs> okay, so let's go ahead and go into our eyes. I'm going to conceal under my brows. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the shade Mahogany. And then this is the Radiant Born to Glow Concealer in Golden. I thought I got Golden Caramel, but I guess I didn't. So I'm going to use this one to conceal under my brows. The Golden one looks a little bit too light, to be honest with you, so. And that Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer is so full coverage. I was in a beauty supply store last night and I started to pick up another shade of this concealer, like a lighter shade, but they didn't have it, so. Before we start with eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Primer. Um, This is, I wanna say the only eyeshadow, actual eyeshadow primer that I purchased. It's that it has a sticky consistency, so you know the eyeshadows are gonna stick to your eyelids. So, this is what that looks like. I don't know if y'all can see it. But that's what that looks like. Um, I had one and it was just too old, so I, I knew I remember having a new one, so I was like, let me grab that. Like, it literally gets sticky, it's so crazy. Um, and it's waterproof. That's another thing, it's waterproof. Why do you need your eyeshadow to your primer to be waterproof? I don't know, but I like it. Okay, so today we're gonna be using this uh, Ultimate Utopia palette from NYX that I hauled in my video. I'm gonna start out with, let's start out with this shade here. Make sure you blend it because this primer can get to acting weird. That's why you want to make sure you blend that primer in good too. Next, I'm going to go in with this brown shade here. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, I, I literally thought these would not be that pigmented because I have, like, look at that. I only think that because, you know, their drugstore, but this palette wasn't cheap. This palette was $35 or $30, one of them. I'm gonna take this Morphe M433 brush and we're gonna take this deeper brown here. Y'all know I like to go from light to dark. Depends on what the eye look is gonna be. Depending on well, you know what we're feeling that day, depending on what we got going on, which we don't normally have anything going on, but you know. I ain't doing too much of what I wanted to do. Let's go on with this. I'm gonna go on with this deeper shade. I'm gonna go on with that dark. It looked like a dark purple.
It's not giving me depth. Choose this purple right here. I'm gonna do this like orangey, tangerine, apricot, whatever first. We're gonna do that first. So pretty. That's pretty. Let's go in with this green shade. I gotta use it, y'all. Happy holiday. <laughs> what is going with y'all? I have no freaking idea. I just wanted to use the colors. I don't know what I did with the eyeliner, y'all. I bought it specifically for this video. So, yeah. I'm just gonna line my eyes and then, so we can get started on the face. So we're gonna be wearing this style Juicy Junior. Okay, so the foundation we're using today is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation in the shade Sienna. Girl, this bottle done been through a chair. This foundation and it's finish. Oh my God. Everything. Next, I'm gonna go back in with this concealer and I still wanna use the same concealer because I don't know about that other concealer. We're gonna try a little bit of it. I feel like I should've got a different shade. I always go through that, but. I feel like I haven't used this Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer enough. But for some reason, it seems empty, but I know we have not been using her. So I don't know. I don't know why I do that with this concealer. Y'all know every time I get started with this concealer, we go there. Like. There's no cute way to do this, okay? Let's use the other one. So this is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer and it has a sponge tip applicator. In my drugstore video, I told you I wanted to get the Born to Glow concealer to go with the foundation, but I decided to use a different foundation today. So, ooh, that's bright. Shit. I mean, I know I be getting some bright under eye concealers. What's wrong with me? I told myself I'm gonna stop putting this on my forehead and I keep doing it. And I don't know why. I don't have a setting powder for under my eye, but I have this NYX um, HD finishing powder. Um, it's like, it's supposed to be translucent. So, oh child, we're gonna use this to set our under eye. I never, never normally set it like this. I like to use a um, loose setting powder. It's almost like the same thing. I have a loose one. Oh, this is making me nervous. I mean, it's not doing too bad of a job. Look at a hot ashy mess. <laughs> Oh my God, look at how ass you miss. To set all over my face, y'all know I love the NYX No Filter. This is in the shade Deep Golden. We say it just like that, Deep Golden. First, we're gonna brush most of this away. So I don't have a bronzer 
by NYX because I think the one that I had was like, I think it was too light, I want to say. So I'm going to just take this Black Radiance Powder. This is in Ebony, I believe. Yeah, this is in Ebony. Just use it to warm up our face. Okay. Girl, let me spray my face because I don't. I, this don't look bad though. Like it's not looking bad. It looks really good actually. I, I, I still gotta get used to it because I'm so used to, you know, the like getting that airbrush finish with that powder. What's so weird about it is that powder comes in. Uh, loose, but it's the same powder like but I don't know it's something about using the press form Okay for blush I have three NYX blushes I have the these two ombre blushes and then I have this one sweet cheeks like glow which I hauled in another drugstore video so let's see This is the mauve one um, this one actually is the one that I really love. This is the nude nude to me. I may use this one just to see What it's given I like these blushes because they give off a little bit of a glow Because I don't have a highlighter But it gives me that You know what I'm saying that little bit of a whatever that sheen is in there these are their ombre blushes. It doesn't say anything about them being glowing blushes, but honey, they be glowing. Moving on to lips. I always use the NYX lip pencil and espresso, but I can't find one around here. So we're gonna snatch up this mahogany one. This NYX suede lipstick in the shade soft spoken, but first I'm gonna line with mahogany. I forgot how dope mahogany lip liner is. They have so many lip liners, it don't even make sense, so. I think this is our finished look, honey. This is it. I like the way it turned out. I'm still questioning this under eye area. Like, it's smooth though, but I'm still questioning the under eye area. Um, I need to get a bronzer from NYX because y'all know I love the bronze. I need to one with this face, but I use what I had. I didn't want to use anything that I always normally use. Girl, look at that blue. The way this blush got my cheek shining like this. Here's the finished look, beauties. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you have questions, leave them down in the comment section. I will leave everything down below. So if you want to purchase what I use on my face, then you can just click the link and it'll take you directly to um, the site to purchase it. I gotta tell y'all though, the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow palette was like the most surprising. I like those concealers. I like both of them, but I'm not really sure about the Born to Glow one. I don't think I should have picked this up. Like it's not, it's not like wooing me. It's not wowing me. It's not like doing it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this dewy finish um, setting spray. Ooh, chat. A shot out light. <laughs> Again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, beauties.